Hi guys, welcome to your faces back to another episode of Zero to Hero on Single Player Tarkov. It's your boy Westy Gaming 97. How are you all doing on this fine evening? So yeah, we're back with episode number five now. In the last raid, obviously we died and we fucking badly, badly died, and we lost a few raids, and obviously we had the technical issue. So we are a little bit low on the money side. We're only at 400,000 now. But we have a task to do kill scavs on woods, which is shootout picnic. So we need to get nine more. And then we also need to get Tarkov shoot. We need to get four more at scavs over 40 meters away with bolt action rifles with iron sights, which is a bastard. But we will get it done. And we could also do the waters and the Erskras, but we need to find um earth group i think oh we've got one got one but... right okay we'll do that one when we get another one of these because it's just easier to hit them both in one raid and get the hell out but yeah we will jump into a woods raid then and i will catch you guys in raid we also are just missing a toilet paper now for our laboratory upgrade on our hideout as well because we got the all last raid and I managed to make it out of my butt so it doesn't really matter because it was only a hideout upgrade so it doesn't need to be found in raid or anything like that so that's the benefit if it is just based on your hideout my recommendation is stick it in your butt regardless because it doesn't matter whether it needs to be found in raid and stuff like that I'd leave your quest items more to the chance of just losing it if you die because if you get out with it they then become useless like the Salewas if you put it in your butt and then you die they're not found in raid you can't turn them in but again that is it's just something you'll learn playing the game through and through and like the more you play the more you understand because basically the little tip I could advise you guys is is if it says obtain it means it can come from anywhere it doesn't have to be found in raid it just has to be handed over if it says found or found in raid that's when you've got a bit of an issue and that's when it gets a bit more funny and you actually have to find them in raid or they have to be crafted so that is why i say stick your hideout stuff in your butthole because you end up when you get stopped for quests like now if we go over to our um, uh, station. So yeah, if we get a couple cars and another, and we can buy another rest much, we can create a Salewa and that's one of our three down. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It does help to get the hideout off the ground early doors. And that's something I didn't learn till very late this wipe in the main Tarkov. And I did suffer from it. And like now I'm sitting on like 100k if that, if I'm lucky. And I'm just fighting people with 500k rigs and guns and stuff like that. And you just can't compete. So yeah, my advice, anyone that's early wipe, start on the hideout. Make that one of your main priorities. Even more than probably questing. Um, the only reason mainly you quest is to get the big XP boost. And then get into level 15. Which is again, the next thing you need to push for with your hideout is level 15. They're the two most important things, is upgrading your hideout quickly and getting to level 15 as quick as physically possible. Because the quicker you get to level 15, the quicker you unlock flea, the quicker quest items become cheaper, the quicker the money then stops becoming an issue. You can then get out of early wipe and you've got a lot of money to roll around with. Again, with the hideout, if you start getting the Bitcoin farm up and running, you can make a million a day if you're lucky. So yeah, that's definitely something to check out on. But yeah, we're going to hop into a woods raid. So I will catch you guys in raid. See ya. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's raining. That's what you love to see. Mm. I mean, not the worst spawn in the world. Two seconds, guys. Uh... Oh, great, not terrible. Main thing I've got to worry about is the scabs that spawn in there. But again, for this shootable task, it's probably our best, one of the best spawn locations you can get. If we 
people just kind of camp, med camp. It, obviously, it's going to make it a little bit harder that it's raining and a lot of mist rolling in, but we can see what we can do. Okay, kind of med camp, it's right there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I have noticed that about Tarkov, even the main one. Fuck it. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that was a pain. Huh. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But hopefully that will maybe draw some scabs to our attention. I thought I can hear something. I can't see anyone. Again, it's so hard to hear through the rain. This is the one thing I hate about it. Now that was definitely someone fucking walking. I definitely heard the crunch of a footstep though. Not a single scabby. Seriously? Oh my god. I think I might find the most quiet raid in the whole world. It's the only issue with the scabs, I find they either... They're either out of roaming and you have no idea where the bloody hell they're gonna be. Or they just bundle up into a camp or something and then don't move the whole raid and it looks like we got a bundled up in the camp oh that's my camp that's over this back side Okay, that's a different sound. Oh my god. up with that Tarkov's movement being way too buggy for me. That might be sawmill to be fair. No, that was definitely a PMC. I even scare one out. Definitely a PMC on that back corner somewhere. 
Unless he's pushed right around to the other side of the camp. Could be a different story. Oh, the rain stopped. Oh my god. Blessings. Taco decided to bless us. So yeah, he's either pushed off or pushed it. Definitely just dropped something over there. Whether or not it was that player, different story. Did fold something. I folded something. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, hello. There's that bloody PMC. Oh god damn, I need some painkillers right now. That was panicky. Well, that definitely went over, <laughs> not over the thingy. But oh, I got two of them. What was the cab on the corner there? P133. Slugs really. Come on, take that rig. There you go.
the hell? This is one of the spookiest roads I've been in in a while. Definitely one of the sketchiest roads I've been in in a while. Definitely hear someone. Just as and where, I don't know. I have no idea. I can hear someone moving over this back so. Oh, hello. What the hell? Penis and PMC's camping containers now, apparently. Jesus Christ. Evil YT02 hero. What? Um Okay. Oh that was. That's a new one. Apparently I got killed by my evil self. <laughs> Fucking kind of reminds me of that fucking Spider Man twin, doesn't it? That fucking me when they're pointing at each other like, it, it. I just got killed by the evil brother. And if you remember The Simpsons, evil part. But that's just me showing my age right there. But, oh, so how many did we get? We got one on that. And then two more on that. So we need five, six, seven, seven more scab kills. And then three with a bolty. So what on? Uh, I got nothing I can run with. Oof. Um, let's just go for the scab kills actually. Let's just go for scab kills, actually. I'll run some of this, and I'll just run a literally naked run. And we'll get going, because I'm not sitting there through this pain all night long. Oh, really? Soft points? It's the only ones I can get. Hollow point, I mean. Hollow point, SMG. Oh, my God. So amazing. Oh, that's be worth running the fucking ADAR. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, going from the left. Okay, now I need to kill PMCs. Elimination. We're not going to go to reserve until the quests are unlocked. Uh, eliminations. New. Survive. Th oh, extracting Emicon. No, I'm not going to be running interchange either. So, yeah, we're not going to be running most of these until we're ready to run them, basically. Come on, mate. Oh, that was it. Yes, I'll buy an ammo. But yeah, basically, we're just not going to be running them, really. Because there's no point. It's basically you just, you're just paying to die at that point. But yeah, we're literally just going to go in with a gun and a headset to woods. And let's see what we can do. I mean, really, I should go in with a Mosin, but... 
Uh, actually, I will go in the modes and I'll keep the SKS for now. Just got to be a little bit more accurate with the modes, and that's the only problem. But yeah, I'll probably grab a Mosin off of Papo. Like that. And then 86 of these. 80 to take in. 6 for the raid. 6 for the actual gun, sorry, should I say. There we go. Right. I'll see you guys in raid. Right, here we go. We are right. Ooh. Village. I mean, if I run right around to the left, I might be okay. Oh shit, I need to eat though. I mean, just sit at the bus stop. I'm just bugging if any scabs come out there because it's not far enough. Yeah, I think my best bet is to be running down here and then running out back. Going up to that big hill that overlooks on the rocks. At least then I know it's definitely over the... Uh, 40 meter mark, because I've hit them before and it's, I think it's about 110, maybe 90, something like that. I think, yeah, between 110 and, like, yeah, 110 and basically uh, 95 meters. Them rocks right there. So, yeah, this is probably one of the better places to sit and hunt scavs, especially at village. Um, obviously you do get the occasional laser beamer, that is what we might have as we run up to be fair, but actually no, we're alright, we've done alright actually. There's a PMC. Dead. Oh, I need to start learning to just run when PMCs engage because I cannot handle them right now. I just keep getting dicks on. Absolutely dicked on by these PMCs. That's what I'm saying, man. They're just laser beamers. They just beam you to the head within 30 seconds if you see them. As soon as you see them, they're fucking. They've got you and you're dead. Well, I'll be brutally honest. My one advice to people if you're going to start learning to play single player Tarkov, I would recommend it for PvP. Because honestly, these AI PMCs are literally like bum rushers. They bum rush you like the goons, and it is disgusting. But the issue is, you don't know which ones are going to bum rush you, and then which ones are going to retreat, get a better angle, and all just sit under the same friggin' location. Because that's the only difference between them and like even the goons and the AI is they're unpredictable. Apart from when the goons just spawn somewhere completely friggin random and you're like you're not expecting it but apart from that I mean technically we could go oh, that's 9 by 18 that's no good to be I oh, might as well get rid of that say that in I guess I mean we Actually, let's just run this. Let's run a customs run, eh? 
boys and girls. So, yeah, I will see you guys in raid. I'm just going to quickly heal up and eat and drink. And, yeah, we will see you guys in raid. Peace. Right, let's get in. I thought I'd run a customs this run, just to try and give it a bit of a breather and a break. See if we can't get some scab kills and make some money this run, I guess. Got the SKS and a pocket full of bullets. As I like to say, an SKS and a dream. Anything good? No. Mm. glasses, nothing else. Yeah, I'm mainly just going to be going for like loot and stuff this raid because we down bad. We need to do some money. We need to get some money because we ain't got no money to pay the bills. No. Oh, bank robber, I'll take that. Thank you. What the fuck? Oh, that's the mach grenade launcher. That is the first time I've seen anything to do with that in Raid. Oh my god, even in Escape from Tarkov. I've seen them being used, and I've heard them being used, because they're, I mean, not unheard of. But, yeah. 300 blackout AP, Jesus Christ, that's worth some money, but. It's no good to moi. So I might as well go and have a look at Lookout Rocks if I pick up this. Scav that spawns up on top there, he's not there, that's weird, oh there he is, going around the back of the building. Oh. God damn it, as soon as I go line up the shop. Ooh. Oh shit, that is at me. Where the hell from? Sniper, I guess. Where the hell sniper? Six right there. Oh, a sniper's got dead at least. Oh my god, this guy's tanking him. <coughs> there we go, give me a fucking shot, give me the shot. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that guy tanks so many people. Fucking shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Where the hell was that scab? that scout because I don't know where he is and he's popping shots off at me. It's 
shame though, because I'd like to have gone and looted my two little scabby friends, but I just have no idea where that dude is. I'll be brutally honest, I have no idea where that scab was. I saw the first two, and I managed to get them, and I was like, right, okay. But then when that... Bloody hell, that's a shotgun. But yeah, when that third one started shooting at me, I had no idea where the hell that came from. Sniper scab. Drop sniper scab, quickly reload. Seen anything? Oh, Ready? Right, okay, I'm not hearing anything. Push up here, I guess. I'm very quiet all of a sudden. Oh, AMC. <laughs> Fucking lion. How the fuck? I'm fucked as well. These repair fractures. I forgot about that. Oh, got and he walked off. Oh, God's sake. This game is actually doing my head in a bit now. I'm going to use up all my grizzly just walking across the fucking stairs.
is I'm running. I'm just here. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, that was stressful. Oh, god damn, man's a sniper with the SKS, god damn, do I go balls in, I can loot them, or <laughs> do I play it safe, hmm, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, Ooh. anything good, that's going to KM, I guess, Good, no, US hammer. Not worth even unloading to be fair. I'm gonna jump across that every time from now on. It sketches me the fuck out. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh. Speaking of which, I'm going to quickly take a slurp of my drink. them. Oh shit, did I not fold both of them? Oh, I did. Mayo, anything good on the rig? Extended. Happy days.
Oh, and he's got PSGS. UAF. There's a dead something right there, I don't know whether it's PMC or SCAV, it looks like SCAV. Yeah, well. That guy's dead. Where the hell is his teammate? Ooh. God, that was clutch. Oh, that was clutch. PMC kill, happy days. Oh, TNT, take that. Right, let's get the gun back up. Jesus Christ. I can't did not want to die. Quickly unload the ammo. Take it just in case. as well. Well, I think it's time to push towards the extract now. Oh, actually, I can have a quick check up the top. Jesus Christ. What the hell was that?
Hmm. Very strange. Sounds like it's over towards Krakow's. Jesus Christ, these banana mags are huge. Oh, I can't remember where I'm going that way. Oh. Of course, it's a 762 by 39 suppressor. Of course, why would the game give me something useful? Jesus freaking Christ. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, I wanna get out of here now. I wanna get out, 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 I wanna get out. Let's check this guy's body for loot. Take TP right now. Just gonna need a buff. Oh my god, come on. Jesus Christ, a lot more.
Jesus freaking Christ. I'm definitely getting out after this. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That should be a good one to end on, I think. Oh, but yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode and this little series that I've been doing. It's quite a fun game. I've really been enjoying playing Tarkov and especially the single player version. It's quite, it's quite good because it's helped me learn the base game a lot more and it's given me time where, like, you can actually turn down the uh, AI um, in the offline mode so like you can actually make them a little bit easier which has been helping me because I've been using that asset a lot when I'm learning new maps like um, reserve and stuff like that and obviously you have an invincibility um, mode when you can do an invincibility edition where you're basically uh, a developer and you have an invincibility uh, face mask but yeah again that has been really helpful just to run around and learn maps learn when things are learn where the valuable spawns are and it gives me that better map knowledge because i'll be honest right now like you definitely need map knowledge in this game because it's very hard to learn and there is no physical maps apart from the ones you can find online but even then they can be very clustered very very clustered and you must know key points on maps to kind of use call outs as well like on customs you have fortress crack house wrath um for, uh, obviously I've said Fortress, Skeleton, Dorms, Bus Station, New Gas, Old Gas. You need to know them areas, otherwise you'll get yourself in a lot of trouble. And that's where, if, especially if you're playing as teams with more than one or two of your friends, and you're like four or five man deep, that's when the confusion can happen, and that's where team killing comes in, and that is just a sports game for everyone. But yeah, I'd love to just say thank you guys again for the support. It's been absolutely fantastic on this series. You guys have absolutely been smashing it i've seen i've got a lot of new viewers coming to the channel as well so i'd like to say welcome to all you new viewers hope you're enjoying this series i'll be trying to post daily if it won't be daily it'll be every other day sorry i do like a day job on the side as well as doing this but yeah and i'd like to rip, uh just repeat again don't forget to like subscribe so you never miss any of my content and obviously you never miss one of these videos if you're really enjoying it but yeah, it's been your boy Western Gaming 97. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, stay loved, peace.